So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, today I want to talk about something that I think doesn't get enough recognition um, and something I personally hold near and dear to my heart. Um, and that's going to be this right here, which is the Glock 30. Uh, this is the SF model to be exact. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and come right out and say I, I am a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of this firearm. Uh, those of you who know me and who have been watching some of our videos know I have a lot of Glocks. Uh, yes, I don't know if you call me a fanboy because I have a lot of respect for a lot of different firearms out there, but um, I have a lot of respect for the Glock and I like to train with the Glock. I like the um, consistency of platform across uh, calibers. Uh, but I, I have a soft spot for 45 caliber Glocks. And this one specifically was the gun that really turned me on, uh, turned me on to, to Glocks altogether. I, you know, I had uh, Springfield um, when I first got it, uh, the XD. Um, I had a couple of 1911s. Um, I had a six hour P226. Uh, but I was looking for an all around gun. And you know what? I think that's what we're going to call this. I think that this is one of those guns that if I only had one firearm, this might be it. Uh, maybe a second possibly only to this right here, which is the Glock 19. Uh, we'll get into that here in a minute. Uh, but the Glock 30. So Glock 30 SF, we're going to talk about for a minute. Um, I do think, like I said, this is one of the best all around do all firearms and we're going to get into to why that is. Um, long story short, California, we're limited to 10 rounds. And to be able to get 10 rounds and a double stack 45 in something that's this form factor, there's not a whole lot out there that does it. And this was the original. So that being said, um, you know, it, it is a little bit thick for concealed carrying, um, but I, I think it definitely does the job if you carry it correctly. Um, a good holster set up correctly is a good way to do it. It's not extremely heavy. Uh, this does come in at uh, only 25 and a half ounces, so pretty lightweight if you compare it to a lot of 45s that are out there on the market. I mean, two pound 1911, how many people have carried around a two, point, two pound 1911 for uh, forever? Um, uh, like I said, it is a little bit chunky, so the slide is going to come in at about, uh, I think it's 1.27 inches um, on there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick comparison to the Glock 19. You will see that there is um, an inherent difference in the thickness of slides. Um, yeah, th that can take a toll on you when you are concealed carry, but if you're going to go with a... Um, larger round like the 45 that's just going to happen um, and while I'm doing it you know what, I might as well go ahead and compare the, the size altogether um, you know this is the 10 round magazine it does uh, also come with a uh, um, or I don't know if it comes with it but available is a nine round flush fitting magazine that does fit flush I like having the the spot for my pinky at the bottom that does work out really well for me um, but you compare it to the 19 you will see that it is a little bit shorter in the grip area if you do sit with one of those uh, with uh, get that in there with with a flush fitting magazine um, so you will save a little bit of space there um, that's really up to you with the magazine in it is sitting just about the same as the 19 um, you will notice that slides are just about the same as the 19 so I think most people out there know a lot about the Glock 19 it's a good way to be able to compare it in size it works out well uh, you know, one thing I will say about the 19 is the same thing I'll say about the 30. It's small enough to conceal, but it's big enough to fight with. So it's not something that is just a concealed carry gun. It is something that is a viable option. And that's why I say it's the best do-all gun out there. For a long time, I had this on my nightstand with the light mounted to it. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, I will say the only reason it's not out there is because the Glock 21 currently is what was something just a little bit larger so you can see there in the size comparison uh, Glock 21 is obviously quite a bit larger is not something I would try to conceal um, or even carry for that matter but works perfect as a home defense weapon so on that note it does have the light that the rail mount I'm sorry the, the rail mount um, underneath for a light which is really nice uh, when you get into some of these compact actually you know what not even compact Glock considers this a subcompact 
Um, I don't know if I agree with that, uh, but you know, Glock does have it categorized as their subcompact 45. They do have one smaller than this. It is, um, I believe, the 36. Uh, don't quote me on that. Which is the single stack, uh, the single stack 45. Um, and now they've come out with, uh, currently as of 2014, they came out with the Glock 30S, which is similar slide width to the 36, but still has the double stack, uh, double stack frame. They did make that fourth gen, unfortunately for us in California, not an option because for some reason the removable back strap or something is an evil feature and they don't make those available to us. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So. Big fan of the 10 rounds. Another reason I think this is a great option, especially for people in California, look, if you can only have 10 rounds, they might as well be 10 big rounds. Um, you know, if, if that's what you have to, uh, to, to, to protect your life with. I'm a huge fan of the nine millimeter, but everybody knows that, you know, the 45 is considered the man stopper and the kind of end all be all. So um, definitely a, a good way to go about. Um, so one other thing I do want to touch base on uh, with this is, as far as all the rest of the Glocks go, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's almost freakish how accurate this weapon is. Um, for a Glock, it's one of those things that, yeah, I've had it for a long time, but it is, um, I'm going to go ahead and say I feel it's more accurate than the 21 and possibly the 17. Uh, I know you're comparing apples and oranges there with the 9mm by 45, but um, it's, I'm not 100% sure why it is. You know, there, there's a lot of a lot of people out there, and you'll see there's other channels on YouTube that say the same thing, that this is one of the most accurate Glocks that they own, and, and I, I will agree. And I, you know, I hear some people say, oh, it's the barrel with the 45 and the gas seal, and I don't know what it is. Uh, for some reason, it's shootability wise, it works really well. Um, and uh, uh, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, shootability is something I want to talk about as well. Um, you know, people shy away from the 45 caliber Glocks. Um, they say they're too big for their hands. Um, you know, they say they just don't fit right. To that, I say train more. Uh, you know, I my hands are medium at best. I wear a medium sized glove. They're not super large. Uh, the SF fits my hand really, really well. So the uh, SF, for those of you who don't know, it's considered the, the or it's uh, short for the slim frame. Not the short frame, but the slim frame. And what that means is they've taken width away from this section right here. Uh, this kind of common misconception that it's this, but it's actually this section that makes it shorter, which makes it really easy to get a great uh, grip on. Um, you can actually see if, see right, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but you have this spot right here where a lot of people put a plug and it is quite a bit thinner than there's the 19 or even the 21. You see that how there's a lack of space there where um, they can uh, have been able to, to take out a little bit of room. So great viable way to go. If you do feel the 21 is or the, the, the regular Glock 30 is a little bit too thick, I suggest you pick up the SF, play with it for a while, because at first it seemed big to me too, but then it really started to grow on me, and the way I see it, it gives you just that much more surface area right here to be able to get a lot of purchase on there. That's why you'll see I have, uh, these actually aren't Talon grips, these are Falcon grips, which were nine bucks on Amazon. I have them on almost all of my Glocks. It's a fantastic way to go, highly recommended. Uh, so, yeah. Another thing I want to touch base on, accuracy, sorry I digress a little bit there, um, recoil. You know, for a 45, there's surprisingly little recoil on this firearm. Um, you know, I'd say it's about the same as the 21, the 21 is good too, but considering how compact it is, I feel comfortable saying there's less than the 23. Obviously the 40 is totally different, uh, the 40 is really snappy, the 45's that got that uh, kind of soft push to it. But I think it's for a couple of reasons. Personally, I know people say that you know the, the polymer in the Glock does flex a little bit and it does absorb a little bit of the recoil. I will agree to that. And another one is, well, let's try that again. Oh, maybe not, there we go. This right here, oh, get it in there. So the Glock 30, 
similar to the Gen 4 Glocks out there, it does have a dual captive recoil spring. And I think this is a big part of the secret on why it absorbs recoil so well and it keeps it so shootable. So, if you don't believe me, we have some footage. We'll go ahead and we'll roll in some B-roll that we have of shooting this and seeing how how, uh, how what a flat shooter it is and it is a great way to go with. Um, I could be completely wrong. Again, this video is all just my feelings and the way I see it, kind of my interpretation and my take on the firearm and why why it's so awesome for the lack of words. Um, yeah, let's see, I think that's just about it. You know, definitely, I, I'm gonna give it a 10 in my book. Um, this is one of those firearms that, like I said, if I had to pick just one gun to have, if I wanted a do-all gun, I think this would be it, the Glock 30 the do all gun. I think that makes sense. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please go ahead and post below. I'll do our best to get to those. Uh, like and subscribe.